we are starting with a very important concept that is the python functions how to write functions in our python programming whenever we write a huge long code then always we try to divide that code segregate that code into multiple different modules and functions and whenever functions are there then it will make us easier to understand that program and obviously the reusability of the code can be enhanced by writing one related uh, one function containing related statements which are executed as a whole whenever certain operation will be asked for so let us go for the further discussion on this function of in python so function is a group of related statements that perform a specific task in our program function implementation breaks our program into smaller and modular chunks and function helps us to make our program more modular organized easy to debug reusability will be enhanced and so on reusability features helps us to avoid repetition of our programming code syntax of a uh, function how to write one function in our python so def will be written that is a defined function so defined function also you can call it as a define so def will be there so this is the function name these are the list of parameters you may or may not pass obviously so list of parameters are there don't forget to give this colon because if you give this colon that means you are starting with the function body and the function body will have the indent in that case and there is a doc string which has been enclosed within uh, thrice quotes the double quotes are there so there is a doc string doc string if you are want to insert the doc string that is a documentation string that should be the first statement up within the function body and then we can write one or more than one statements and then return value return and then return value will be there and that is optional a function may or may, may not return a value so that is the way to write the function in our python types of functions basically functions can be divided into the following two types the first one is the built in functions the functions that are built into the python as an example abs which will give you the absolute value of the input parameter and then character we are having the chr rather so there is a float there is a conversion to the float there is a print we will be using this print we are using this print multiple times in our python code to print some string on the screen on the console so these are the inbuilt functions there is a built in functions we need not to write the respective code for all these functions they are pre written i can readily use them in our code as when required so next one is our user defined functions and these functions we are responsible to write the body and the function defined by the users themselves and uh, to do certain specific tasks always remember the function name should be very much very much important because uh, in case of user defined function from the function name we should get the purpose of the function if you give the function name like function 1 function 2 function 3 they don't carry any sense in future so next time if you if i ask you what is the purpose of function 1 you are supposed to look at the code but the function name should be very much logical very much meaningful so that from the function name even you can get the purpose of the function and let us go for one practical demonstration to show you how to write these functions in our python programming with some sample coding so here is the demonstration in this session we are going to discuss functions and in case of python functions the function name should be defined and here we will be using the keyword there is a define that is a def and the function name within the opening first bracket and closing first bracket we can write the respective parameters if i want to pass some input parameters there this is known as user defined function because we are writing the respective function body always the function should be should have this opening first bracket and the closing back first bracket that will indicate that it is a function here as here we are writing the function body so it will be known as the user defined function but if we don't write the function body that means in case of print you can easily find that this print is a function because it is having this opening uh, first bracket and the closing first bracket and it is taking a string as input parameter but we are not writing the body of this print so that's why it is called library function or inbuilt function 
after writing this def and then function name then opening bracket closing bracket then we shall put one colon here then rest, rest part of the function body will have the indentation which is the four blank spaces are there so all the statements which will be maintaining these four blank spaces beforehand will be treated as a part of the function body okay so in this way there is no begin end there is no curly brace open curly brace close there is no block begin and block end marker only this indentation will indicate that these statements are within this function bodies so this is this hello one is a function which uh, which is having no return statement you can find that there is no return statement we have written but in case of hello two we are return we are having one return statement and it is having this string to be returned return command returns back the control to the caller and mainly used to return a value to the caller of the function so whenever you are calling this hello one then this print statement will get executed because this is the only one statement within this hello one function body but in case of hello two when you'll be uh, calling this hello two it will return one string so the control will come back to the caller when this return statement will be executed and then print will print that this particular print function or print method will print the string which will be returned here so let us go for the execution you can find this is the outcome of hello one uh, hello one function calling and this is the outcome of this print hello two function so a function can have the first statement which will be in the indentation will be known as the document string or doc string if it is enclosed within a triple single quotes or triple double quotes so i can write this one as uh, this one so this is this is a multi line text so I've, you see i have written this one within triple single quotes now this is known as the doc string and this doc string is the first uh, statement in this function body which is having the ind uh, indentation okay so how to access this one so we can do this one in this way so in this way i can access this respective uh, uh, doc string or document string you can easily find this is a multi line text instead of enclosing it within single uh, triple single quotes also also we can use them as triple double quotes then also it will have the same output as i have shown you okay next we are going for uh, the other uh, program part here one thing has to be remembered here this hello one is a user defined function because we are writing the function body this hello two is a user defined function because we are writing this function body but this print is a uh, inbuilt function or the library function because we are not uh, writing the function body of print but we are using it we are calling it according to our purpose so that's why this print is known as uh, the library function here here we have defined multiple functions so first function is my addition which takes x and y as input argument so here the keyword def that is a defined function name and then input arguments enclosed within opening first bracket and closing first bracket colon must be there and there is a uh, body of the function which is uh, printing this uh, statement that is uh, performing the addition operation and return x plus y similarly we have uh, written the function body for subtraction performing the subtraction operation return x minus y my multiplication which is taking x and y as input parameters performing the multiplication operation return x star y my division it is taking this x and y as input arguments so print performing the division operation return x by y so in this way we have defined my addition my subtraction my multiplication my division methods now we are going to define another method that is known as the my menu all these methods are user defined user defined uh, functions so under this my menu we are having this main menu will be printed then four options are going to get printed then it will ask for the for the option number then it will ask for the option number here input is a function library function which returns a string so before assigning it to the variable ch i'm doing the type casting using another inbuilt function library function that is int so now it will return the value of ch so my menu returns the value of ch let us go for the final function that is our def calculation so at first it is calling my menu so my menu will print this my menu and the four options and it will ask for the for the choice 
and then the value will be returned the value which will be returned will be assigning will be assigned to this ch it does not mean that here the variable is ch so here also we are supposed to have the variable ch only you can also make it as choice so that is not an issue because this choice is uh, is local within this my menu and this ch is local within this calculation so they may, may be having the same name may be having the different name but in both cases they will have their separate memory space allocation during execution of our code so here we have written we have read two uh, numbers num1 and num2 using the same way please enter the first number please enter the second number input function returns string so it has been converted to integer using int here so if ch the value which will be returned by this my menu if ch is equal to is equal to 1 then result is equal to you see i'm calling this my addition function and num1 and num2 i'm passing two parameters this num1 and num2 will get assigned onto x and y you can find it and then it will return the sum of it after printing this line so that result will be assigned to this variable result so that sum will be assigned to this result for choice 2 it will return the respective difference that will be assigned to result in case of choice 3 the respective product will be returned and that will be assigned to the variable result in case of choice 4 the respective quotient will be returned and that will be assigned to the variable result here so print so result is equal to result so i'm going to print that one so if i call this respective function that is calculation you can go for the calculation you can find that it is at first it is calling this my menu i my menu is displaying the options and it is asking for the option number if i give the option number one then it is asking for the first number let it be 100 and the second number let it be 200 so as a result of that as i selected option number one so addition will be done between 100 and 200 so as a result we are going to get 300 here if i execute the code once again so here i'm going for the option number two I'm going for the multiplication between uh, 10 and 20 you can easily find so I'm getting the I'm getting the subtraction oh I've, I've selected option number two it is for the subtraction so getting here minus 10 as the outcome so let me show it once again so here I'm going for the option number two that is the subtraction so I'm just giving the value 100 and giving the value 40 you can find that performing the subtraction operation so because this particular uh, line has got printed because we wrote that one in our my subtraction method and then it is returning x minus y and that will be assigned to the result and is and later so result is equal to the result variables value will get printed so result is equal to 60 is getting printed because we have given inputs 140 so the difference value will be 60 here so let us go for the third option so option number three so now it is multiplication so if i give the value say uh, 100 and uh, say 20 so the result is coming as 2000 performing the multiplication operation so result is equal to 2000 here so let us go for the last one so if i give the option number four so i'm supposed to perform the division operation so the quotient will be returned i'm giving this uh, 125 you can find that it is giving me the result as 4.0 so in this way you can easily find that we have written some code here for the better explanation and for your better understanding so a function can return a uh, return a value may not return a value a function should should be starting with this def keyword which is defined then the function name then opening bracket closing bracket will en enclose the input parameters then colon is must and all the all the statements which will be written with with indent so they will be treated as within the function body you can find that how we are writing this code and how the function is getting called here so i think now the conception is getting clear to you that how this function can work so i'm giving you one assignment we know that division by zero is illegal so that's why whenever you are performing this division operation before performing the division obviously i should check the value of y if the value of y is equal to zero then obviously i should handle the situation carefully so please modify this code and so that you can also check whether division by zero is illegal is happening or not and accordingly modify this code and write the uh, write the pro program yourself thanks for watching this video